Hey there fellow campers and welcome to our campsite review on Nata Lodge. It's situated 10 kilometers on the southern side of the town of Nata on the way up to Pandamatenga and Kasani in Botswana. Getting there from the south means traversing an awful section of road between Francis Town and the lodge. The road is narrow with no shoulder, steep and sharp drop-offs and random potholes. The worst problem is undoubtedly the potholes crumbling off the side of the road. This means when overtaking, you not only need to worry about oncoming traffic, you also need to avoid hitting those potholes on the other side of the road. After a drive that requires a lot of concentration, turn into the entrance and head for reception to book in. The lovely shaded restaurant area and bar offer welcome respite from the drive and you may want to take advantage of having a drink and chilling before setting up camp. The campsite is set entirely on sandy soil. There is a stretch across one section that is thick with heavy sand and it is clearly marked as a 4x4 road. Stick to the other outer roads and you'll be fine in any type of vehicle. A ground sheet is useful here just to keep the sand out of your rig to some extent. And unless you wear closed shoes, there's not much chance of you keeping your feet clean. The campsite is suitable for all types of camping, tents, motorhomes, campers, trailers and caravans, and the lodge is well supported by large overland tourist trucks. The campsite is mainly divided into areas surrounded by trees and shrubs and is suited to one party at a time. There is space and some level of privacy between the sites. Not all the campsites have easy access to a power point, so if this is a necessity for you, just check first. And there is a good chance that you may need a very long extension cord. The power points take a South African domestic three pin style plug. There are no water taps on or near the sites, but water is available at the scullery areas dotted around the campsite. These have both hot and cold water, but no plugs. Personally, I use two basins, one to wash and one to rinse, which means I never need to worry about plugs, leaking or dirty sinks. The ablutions are well maintained and clean. They are semi-outdoors in that the cubicles do not have high walls that extend to the ceiling, but there is an overall roof structure. The toilets and showers have solid doors, with the showers having good hot water and reasonable pressure. There are only a couple of hooks in the shower and no place to lay your clothes or your toiletry bag. A handy solution is to pack your clothes in a bag using the reverse packing method. There are hand basins, mirrors and plug points for hair dryers, but no soap or way to dry your hands. The ladies and gents are identical, with there being no urinals in the gents. At the restaurant, there is a lovely swimming pool to cool off and there are lounges for relaxing. There is only a curio shop on the premises, so you will need to travel the 10 kilometers to Nata for any groceries or fuel. There are three filling stations on the main road at the northern end of town. Please note, Nata Lodge is not pet friendly. On the technology front, we bought an eSIM on the Mascom network and this worked reasonably well in places where there was cell signal. Nata Lodge offers free Wi-Fi in the common areas and it was quick and responsive. The property is fenced and they have introduced a 24-hour security guard to the area. The chaps introduced themselves and advised us to keep our valuables out of sight and locked away while we were leaving the campsite. Personally, I was impressed that they didn't shy away from the fact that there have been petty theft issues in the past and that they are actively working to combat future incidents. Apart from being an overnight stopping point, it is worth the time to visit the Nata Bird Sanctuary in the wet months, when the flamingos and pelicans fill the barren landscape. We visited during the dry season, so we missed out on that spectacle, but we still enjoyed the desolation, the absolute peace and the swirling dust storms that shifted the sands in the distance. Well, that's it for this one. Thank you for your time, stay safe, be well, and I hope to catch you in a campsite sometime.